After almost a two-month break, at the end of August, we are going racing for the European Le Mans Series from Barcelona. To the inside line goes the racing team Turkey car of Sally Jolic for the race lead. Potentially no, but he will slot into second position because that was great defence from Julian Canal. Jolic to second. Nicholas Cruton had little choice but to turn in behind the cherry red prototype for third position for Cool Racing. And it is Paul Lafarge just about hanging on to fourth place for Edex Sport. But around his outside is trying to go Ferdi Habsburg in the championship leading car for Prima Racing. We have a yellow flag at turn three. Does that suggest some strife? Maybe. Yes, oh, big God time James. for the Iron Links car started by Sarah Bovey. They're going safety to go safety car. car because there's not least Sarah Bovey's stranded machine. Now, there she is in the pink Ferrari to the inside line of turn two. Did she clash with some prototypes? Oh, it's the prototype moved across on her. The blue, dark blue prototype moved across on her and she's in the wall and it's big, big damage to the number three car as well. That's a separate incident. Ahmed Al Harty putting his head down now, trying to reel in the Porsche. He's done more than that. He will now overlap Christian Reed into the braking area. It's trickier it? to overtake. Oh, he's he's overdone it in turn 10. And off towards the gravel, did so well there Oof. not to end up in the stones. And Petra Belli had to check up as he was coming through to turn 10 to make sure he didn't T-bone the TF Sport Aston Martin. So traffic has paid dividends for Ferdi Habsburg. Now it's a matter of just Julian Canal keeping his head, sticking as best he possibly can. Is he in trouble? Mm, first sector time will give us an answer. It's a 28.6, so oh, he got caught behind the Inter-Europol competition car okay. number 14. So the pass had already been made there. Was that just a misjudgment through traffic that Ferdinand Habsburg, a few metres back, was able to read far better? I think it's just he'd lost his rhythm a little bit, maybe a little rattled by the delay. No way through this time, but the pressure is going to allow... It's Petra Belli, sorry, up the inside of Al Harty this time. Is that the position that's going to change? Ferrari and Aston Martin side by side, and the Ferrari's going to get it here, Johnny. Oh. Little bit of a shove to the left as well for the Aston Martin, but that's GT racing at the end of the day. The Ferrari is carrying some damage on the front right corner as well, and they almost exchanged door mirrors there. That of is course. a change for the lead. That is Josh Cagle going through on Charles Cruz, and that's all happening with LMP2 cars. In fact, the leader closing in on them. Petra Belli looking up the inside of Michael Fassbender, the GMW man looking to make progress here. And again, oh, he touches him! Now Disaster! That, that was absolutely... I'm afraid that was on the Ferrari man. Disaster for Petra Belli and for Fassbender, but particularly for the recovering Porsche now, who all of a sudden rejoins the race right in front of Spirit of Race, and Fassbender, I think, sensibly will come down pit road. They damage. can weave this into the strategy, theoretically. He's not far off it, is he? Yeah, Proton Art will he have to be quick to react to this. It might have been he was on an in-lap anyway. Pretty aggressively, but that, uh, the way I saw that one, he was nowhere near uh, a gap enough for him to take that move, and uh, that's rather spoiled. The end of Michael Fassbender's stint as side-by-side -side contact between these two battling Ferraris round the outside, and through goes to 32 in the hands of Diego. And we've got damage for the Ar Ahmed Arhati driven Aston Martin, so he is in much, much earlier than expected. Where has that damage come? Big time on the nose of the car. Indeed, and that is going to have to be fixed. And, oh, it's trouble for the 28 as well, and that's had an impact. So not is a that... lot left of the nose of the 28 Edex Sport car, and that is buried deep in the gravel. Turn, turn one. one. Now, is that part of the same issue? First significant penalty has been added. It's a five-second penalty added to both the pole-setting car and the 34 for not respecting the position at the start.
to the inside line then for Matt Griffin, trying to get third position away from Diego Alessi, and on the brakes, confirmed into turn number seven. Yeah, he'd have enjoyed that, without a shadow of a doubt. Still very much a driven man, Matt Griffin. Shama. Here comes Shama to the inside, and Lapierre cannot hold him back, so he's plugging the gap, although Lapierre, the wider line, gives him the better exit out of the corner. Unbelievable stuff there. And Shama, because he was tight to the white line, couldn't accelerate. They are two abreast now into the chicane. Surely you can't fit all these prototypes through the chicane at once, and no, Shama had to take to the escape route oh. there. Oh. Feeds back into third, and a prototype car two from P3 somehow made the pit lane. Absolutely staggering stuff, <laughs> Lap your heads up stuff there. Damage, uh, damage, damage, damage to Lapierre's car. I don't think that's from Jaman. That must have been through well, the traffic. I Julian Canales just spotted that as well. Didn't see him hit it. So what has he done there? Caught maybe the BHK car that sits in front. Rousset's 23, hails from France, but top-level motorsport. Le Mans Cup, a few races this year. Here comes Malta Jakobsen with a better run out of 16 and gets the slingshot on Rousset. So leader pits with eight seconds the good over the Paris racing car. But remember, this I think is the stop where they've got to hold this car for five seconds. Aitken's got the run on the car in front. He'll now be two abreast. He That's was pretty Brody. forceful in qualifying yesterday, and he will get the place under braking as long as he can get it stopped and up to second position in Pro Am. Rivera to Bradley to the Done outside it. line. That'll give him the inside for two. Great move. Late on the brakes, round the outside of one, and that delivers you into the apex at turn two. Richard Bradley has no response to that, and it put him out on the marbles. Um, and links to the inside of the 93 Proton for position, and that is a, a good pass on Zachary Robichon from David A. Rigon up into sixth place for the Iron Links Ferrari. David Perel has been closed in on, caught by Jimmy Bruni. Winner of Le Mans this year, remember? Porsche factory driver. Knows the Ferraris well. Back in the 458 era, certainly looks the inside. Is he going to be able to do something about the... So there's contact there. There certainly was, and that has uh, shoved the 55 car out of the way, but was the 55 sort of in the middle of the road, not fully committed to the apex or indeed to the outside? Bruni showed the nose. He then tried to get out of the throttle to avoid further contact. And there's the two supporting members, Ferdinand Habsburg on the left and Lorenzo Colombo on the right, raring to go to run across the pit lane and towards the pit wall. They'll be climbing up over the fencing there to cheer the race winner, Louis de la Traz, home for Prima Racing. So he slots it through out of turn 16 and to win for the third time this year, the fourth race of the European Le Mans series will go to Prima Racing, to Lorenzo Colombo, Ferdinand Habsburg and Louis de la Traz. Confirmation, Prema coming out on top. The Pro-Am winners in fifth, AF Corsa. GG3 winners into Europol's car number 13, 17th overall. And in 25th place, Proton claim victory in GTE. Jubilation for the Prema team. All this winning is becoming very habit forming. I can't say too much because we all did it together. It was so cool. Uh, one of those weekends that didn't start off super easy, was not so difficult. Uh, the sound is not making it so easy either, but we had a great time. I'm super stoked. Also, after the last time in Monza, we didn't quite get that win. We were struggling. We came back to win the race and now establish our position in the championship. And yeah, we're going to have a couple of beers, have a good night and uh, be, celebrate that one. That felt good. Oh,
Premier Racing, Lorenzo Colombo, Ferdinand Habsburg and Louis de la Traz claim victory from Panis with Julian Canal, Jop van Eutent and Nico Jama. Cool Racing's Nico Lapierre, Nicolas Croyton and Yiffy Yi finishing in third place. And confirmation that Prema now extend their advantage over Panis with United Autosports in third. After another strong outing, victory in the LMP2 Pro-Am category went to the number 88 AF Corsa car. It was uh, amazing, so we just had to push. Uh, Francois and uh, Nicolas made an amazing job, job and I had just to carry the car to the finish line. Francois Perodo congratulates his rivals along with Nick Nielsen and Alessio Rivera as they take LMP2 Pro-Am honours. Ahead of Rodrigo Sales, Matt Bell and Ben Hanley for Nielsen and Algarve pros John Falp, James Allen and Alexander Peroni and Racing Team Turkey have now a 10 point advantage over Nielsen with A of Corsa coming up fast on the rails. Into Europol competition, the winners in Monza brought that momentum to Spain to claim victory in LMP3. We had the race really, really on, on our ends after the first hit of Charles where he did a mega job and uh, Nico just took the car and brought it home and I just had to do the same, so uh, really happy. And uh, that's two in a row, so uh, we are back in the fight and uh, hopefully we can grab the championship in Portimão. They are just five points off leaders cool with two rounds to go, 25 points, one win covers the top five teams. It's all to play for in LMP3. The GT battle was perhaps the toughest of the lot at a frantic Barcelona four hours. And Jimmy Bruni brought the 77 Proton Porsche through to the chequered flag to claim victory for the team. It's really hard in the car and I always had the, the other cars in my mirror so I was pushing as much as I can but the car was super, super fast and super good. Clean stint, give the car to uh, Lorenzo and then Lorenzo to Jimmy and they did both great and so happy to win the race. Thumbs up from Jimmy Bruni, who with Christian Reed and Lorenzo Ferrari won for Proton Competition. Spirit of Race Ferrari crew, Duncan Cameron, Matt Griffin and David Perel finished second ahead of fellow Ferrari drivers Giacomo Petrobelli, Sean Hudspeth and Miguel Molina for JMW. A vital second place for Spirit of Race keeps them very much in the hunt. One point now ahead of Kessel Racing, two races to go. Proton have the points advantage.